At first, it started with a visual crush. Something would intrigue me visually, and I wanted to know more. My name is Alexandra Gargiulo, and I am the founder and author of Preservation of Style. My own personal mantra is really doing everything with style. Beauty is great. Everyone wants to be beautiful. I'm a woman. I want to be beautiful. It's more important to me to, you know, live my life with style. Hey guys, it's Jillian from GoDaddy. I'm here in LA to hang out with Alexandra. She's gonna be walking me around LA and we're gonna be talking about her business. It's a very uncool thing in LA to walk, but I've always loved to walk as a way to blow off steam, as a way to reset the energy. So I sort of made a game with myself that I would Polaroid all of the things that I liked and sort of create a, a little memento. So this is the Mauritania. Okay. And the Mauritania is a streamlined modern building. So the curves and the rounded edges reflect the idea that the automobile, planes, all of these things were coming into culture that were all moving fast pace. The next building we're heading to is the Ravenswood. It was built in 1930 by Max Maltzman and it's an Art Deco building. So Art Deco buildings really focus on the straight up lines, the rectangular shapes. You and flat. This one's very much flat more flat than the last one. Flat. Art Deco came out of Paris, the School of Beaux Arts, so you can kind of see those little like European- In the curves right Parisian, here. Parisian, the elegant details, but it's mostly flat, minimalist. This is the Los Angeles Tennis Club. It's a great example of revival architecture in the neighborhood. Initially, when I was walking around Polaroiding all of the buildings, I really focused on 20s and 30s apartment buildings because of some of the zoning ordinances around historical preservation in Los Angeles. There is this element of preservation of style being a visual policy piece because uh, it focuses on three neighborhoods. Miracle Mile and Hancock Park are both uh, historically preserved, but Koreatown wasn't. But there was equally as much history. So I kind of wanted to explore in a visual way what happens when we don't preserve and what happens when we do. I spent a month just walking the city and I Polaroided all of the buildings that really inspired me. And from there, as much as I wanted to do a coffee table book of things Alexandra loves around Los Angeles, I needed more of a subject matter. And so at the time I was studying the legalities of historic preservation. The first step to being practical in a business approach was that I was gonna have to have a website. I'm not technologically savvy, so I wanted to have a website that sort of was simple, stylish, and communicated what I wanted to show. I bought the preservationofstyle.com domain, and then from there, it was suggested that I could build a website. I thought, okay, I should just try this myself. And it, and it, it was very simple. Oh, it's so bright and airy. This apartment's super special. It has a lot of history. It was shared by Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Oh and it also has a lot of features of the revival, the beams, the arches, and of course, really great views of the city. When you study art history, such an important part in learning the art is learning the why and the history. And it's always a reflection of what's going on in society. I love that we can see like, the book yeah, so in its layout form. Yeah, wow, so this I've is never some, seen of the, some of the Polaroids from Preservation of Style, and then of course the book laid out. So I wanna talk a little bit about the marketing piece. You said a big part of your business is building the brand, but then letting people know like the book is ready, this next thing is ready for us. So what marketing tools did you use within the website builder? The first thing I needed to do was figure out how to communicate to everyone that had signed up for my mailing list. So by the time the book was ready, I had 40 or 50 names on the pre-order list. That's great. And so I then needed to figure out how am I gonna communicate with all of these people? So as someone that can like barely send a text message, I was like, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I went to my dashboard and I was able to easily send out a mass email to everyone. And so I was able to communicate that the books were ready and that they could buy them. And did people buy directly from the newsletter when you said, hey, it's available? Could yes. you actually see that traffic come through? One of the best feelings for me was sending that out within 15 seconds, getting this email that was like, my best friend from high school had already purchased two copies. And you're sold out. I've sold out of those 100 copies. Preservation of style, it's really about appreciating and celebrating these old world things in the new world. Regardless of where we are in three to five years, I know we'll be doing everything with style.